Hi, I'm Jessa. And I'm Alex. And this is Jessa and Alex Watch. Interview with the Vampire, Season 2, Episode 6. Like the light by which God made the world before he made light. Guys, just say what came first, the chicken or the egg. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> just stop trying to murder us with your episode titles. Thank you. Okay, last episode, Episode 5. San Francisco flashback. The way that episode was excellent. Yeah. And shocking. Like, it's rare, if you haven't noticed, when Jess and I are speechless. (laughs) Right. Let me take you a little behind the scenes nugget of that episode. We never, we want these conversations to be fresh yeah, and stuff like that. And we don't want the next on next episode or on the discussion that the actors are mm-hmm. happening yeah. to like influence what we're saying. We just stood frozen sure did. and watched both. All, all the way to the whole end of what was. Up and there. said nothing. Right. <laughs> just stared. Yeah. Because we were like still processing yes. because it was that good of an episode of TV. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, absolutely. Superb job. Emmys for all. Emmys for all. Here, take an Emmy. And you, and Emmy, and you, and you. But that's how I feel. Because even, like, young Daniel, oh, gorgeous performance. Yes. The way that this is, like, four actors, three characters in just different configurations the whole episode. so good. Beautiful scenes between 2020. I think actually to Daniel mm-hmm. and Louie. Yeah. Just some, just the like new colors to their relationship. A lot of like sweetness yeah. that hadn't come in before. You know what? We said it was like a play, but actually the whole, that whole episode was like a play. Like even mm-hmm. those scenes, like them, I can see that on a stage, like them sitting in that, with the yeah. sand on their feet. And, and then like specific beat where Louis like scooted himself up a yeah. step to be on the same level as Daniel. Yeah, it was just really well directed. So good. Oh, so interesting. And then them being in that little box of a torture apartment, right. watching Daniel just yes. get further and further into madness. So, so yes. good. Uh, Armand, we got a lot revealed. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do we want to discuss some of our behavior? Well, that's what the boys said when he came home from his lunch. <laughs> he came in his little sunglasses and he was like, hey, boys, how's it going? And they said, um, excuse. So do, what do we think is going to happen? I know. I'm so excited. I, we have just like dropped a bomb in the apartment. And now we're like reconfiguring all of, of the relationship. Lucifer Louis was not pleased. <laughs> Right. That's what I'm calling his mean side. Yeah, I like it. It's good. Because he's um volatile. Yeah, I, I would say. I, I would say that perhaps Claudia didn't get all of her traits Ooh. from Lestat. Uh oh. You know? Mm. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, I think we're picking back up with Paris. Yes, yes, which is going to be rough for me because I certainly don't ship Armand and Louis right now. No, no, I think um, I really like Armand. Yeah, very interesting character. Yeah, but um, yeah, I don't think I, I ship him and Louis at all at any point. Their dynamic, I haven't seen it yet in a way that I liked it. It's so weird when they were like playing happy families for Daniel, it was super weird. I think it was funny. Like we keep commenting on it and mm-hmm. in the before we got the flashback yeah. episode, like, wow, they're so weird. Why are they so weird? But now, you know, we know for sure it was weird brainwashed. Right. Like it truly was theater. I'm so sorry, Armand, but you're really pathetic in Paris like chasing after this fuck boy. Like Louis so really funny. just wants to sleep around and have some fun. What, you want me to come around more? <laughs> it's whatever you want. Yeah, we can be- Not the word I would have used. Boyfriends, <clears throat> companions. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Rough. Yeah. Lie better, Louis. Yeah. Speaking of lie better, what's going on with those photographs? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Is it part of the narrative? Right. Why is that important? Is that truly just like Armand 
gaslighting him for some reason? Like, what was that? I need to know. Honestly, like right now, I'm so much more interested in Dubai than I am in Paris. Oh, same. I just want those three. And you know, they're not going to give it to us. No, they're not. We're only going to get bits and pieces of it. Annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's find out. Same precise edit on two brains. Oh, we did not mention the fact that the thing that we've never caught watching this, but I found online the way that Armand's freaky little eyes vibrate when he's like, I hate that throwing people around. Thanks. I hate it. <laughs> we really said we're in a gothic horror romance. Exactly. Exactly. This type, your title should not take up two lines. <laughs> he's out with real Rashid. Why are they hanging out? There was no postage on the package. She going to turn you into broth bags because you couldn't hold it. <laughs> grumpy, Daniel. is grumpy. Mm -hmm. They sent a chaperone. I'm sorry. Go away. <laughs> Rashid? He loves the hand soap they use here. I wouldn't worry too much about Rashid. Why are you saying it like that? Rashid. Rashid. The two Barcelos would fit if we replaced the couch. Are you guys? I assume are, you, are we all the just couch. ignore it? Like, are we... Then, 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 then. How about DIY Weiwei wallpaper? This is actually very funny. Like we're a Firmdale hotel lobby. <laughs> what do you think we should do with the wall? so gay of them. Armand just wearing a long sleeve t-shirt. That's how you know he's upset. He's, he's wearing his Rashid costume again. Mm -hmm. What about a selection of Fred Stein's? Tastefully framed. They've been sitting in my albums all this time. Seems a waste. Or better not to have so tangible a reminder of Paris up on our walls. An interview about Paris is a more tangible reminder of Paris than a few photographs. This is just their thing, right? Why are we passive aggressiving at each other? Please speak words. The Wait truth. for revelation to enter the room. You guys are gonna friggin' repeat San Francisco because you can't, you hate each other, please break up. <laughs> I think you've been masterful. I think if I could swap bodies with you, I'd be running the order by now. Okay. We should be returning now. Okay, Rashid, if you're an agent, how are you keeping your brain safe? I thought as much. And I thought as well, so you make a flowery them do this straight play. Yeah. I'm interested in my own vampire nature now. What do you think a vampire is? I don't pretend to know. What oh, Santiago. Honey, actually, the Claudia show was better than that. Yeah. Strange. I remember you racing back from rehearsals to tell me how ambitious... Their little separate tears. Well, I was following your advice, wasn't I? What does it mean to die? <laughs> <laughs> no, Santiago. <laughs> In eternally young and eternally oh, ancient. Yeah, they're reading Claudia's journal. It's quite lovely, Sam. Even more what you're doing with it, Santiago. Thank you, Matt. Oh, my old boy. What does it mean to die when you can live until the end of the world? He's so compelling. And what is the yeah. end of the world? Look at the... Yeah. Isn't that exciting? For those with roles in the updated repertoire. When was the last time you spoke with him? Uh, how to say, uh, communications are uh, irregular. New Orleans, Louisiana, early February, 1940. <laughs> He's holding in so many notes. <laughs> I was in love. You buy that? I buy that he'd been in power a long time. Have they told him that they know? I think so. Okay and love we're not addressing that why do you ask love oh boy oh boy you have everything we have unless you're sitting on something behind your encrypted laptop note to self everything related to claudia from this point forward is without written corroboration just our memories of her However porous they come. A little more vermouth next time, Rashid. I can make another. No, it's good. <laughs> it's just his were better. <laughs> yeah. 
you guys fight or fuck or something. You need to this figure this bad. out. Okay, I really wouldn't though. She's got friends in yeah. scary places. Yeah. Kratos, tu veux, hein? There was un sans fish. Oh no. Yep, bro. Justice has arrived. On va voir ce que la donne à l'armée, ouais. Party. You gonna run? Don't. Don't run. If I don't clean up. You could be in some trouble. Vampire. Top of the morning. <laughs> like he got sick on the canvas? Watch. I'll sell it for five times the price in a year. That's what he's good at. More involved. More Mathieu, Solage, real estate, dividend stocks with compound interest. He's a businessman. <laughs> And who is going to fly your plane? I'll fly. The first vampire capitalist, the first vampire pilot. Why not? Take off your clothes. No. I am going through uh, Sam's new pages. Clothes off, face down in the coffin. Come read them to me while I fuck you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You want to fuck boy face. Yeah. Yeah. You just don't want it to last 70 years. Around. Right. Right. Exactly. Like if the sex isn't good anymore, you should get rid of that. Correct. Louis being turned on by his own business genius though. Close off face down in the coffin. Yeah. You can read it to me while I fuck you. Yeah. I don't this know. This is a she, bad she's game. Not a, for, yeah. <laughs> no. Because once she starts, you can stop not her. her. Yeah. Um, yes, I'm the forbidden friend. Louis. She's Louis. reading one of your diaries in my coffin. I won't tattoo. She says another <laughs> word, I'll break her arms and throw her out the window. Louis. Let's start again. Louis, you get to have your pets. Mm -hmm. Things she up. I had you covered. the dress I wore a while back. She's she sold me a lavender dress, Louie. And she sat in the corner and watched while I bundled up bodies. Didn't cry. Didn't get flustered. Is it romantic? No. No, not yet. <laughs> me. <laughs> Meeting vampire Claudia. <laughs> I'll take I'll take my chances. I've been a third all my life. Not saying that to fight, just saying that it's true. And it's her, a weird white lady I met by happenstance. <laughs> Is it romantic? No, not yet. <laughs> I ship, I ship, I ship. Not the starts blood. I wouldn't want that for anyone. Not good enough for us. Not good enough for her. She swore an oath, trampled on the laws, and I am to reward her for it. What laws? Yeah. You think you're happy with me now? Can you imagine me without the burden of her? Respect comes without a shield. You're a manipulator, Claudia de Leon Koch. That's not her name. Close your minds. Both of you. I'll know it if you haven't. We're in a mood. This actress is very compelling. Mm. Non, je vais être avec elle. Mais toi, tu peux aller te faire foutre. Si tu fais de moi un monstre, tu feras comme transformer en ce que je suis déjà. Mm. <coughs> For eating an apple like that, you freak. <laughs> 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 
really interesting mm -hmm. if they're having Armand be the one that makes her really interesting. Did you mean it? Does it matter? I got the result. Cool. Thanks for that. Is that what you found when you went looking for yourself? Mm -hmm. Shortcut to the end of things? Mm. Her continue to just. Quand je serai un vampire, est-ce que j'aimerais ma nourriture? Et quand les derniers vestiges de ton époque auront disparu? Jeune homme, there's been a war. <gasps> Claudia, I think there's something left of my era. <laughs> You're stronger. I can feel it. I am. Harder too. But you gotta give up something to get something. I didn't give up anything. Mm -hmm. Just my heart. Et la femme qui habitait plus bas, aimant de faim dans sa chambre, parfois je le voyais dans leurs yeux quand ils étaient sur le point d'abandonner. Et moi j'ai survécu. Moi j'ai suivi mes instincts. Même quand c'était un amour dangereux. And I have a gun. You know a little something about dangerous love, don't you, Armand? Mm -hmm. This physicalities. Mm -hmm. que feras-tu dans quelques décennies quand elle se jettera dans le feu? Peut-être qu'elle le fera pas. T'en sais rien? Peut-être que je suis ce dont elle a besoin pour survivre. Hmm. Mettre in the bedroom, mettre only when it's hot or convenient. <laughs> what was it? He had never made Just one. little cross legs away from each other. I have never made a vampire. You were a 500 year old vampire. You led the Parisian coven for two centuries. And he hadn't told me. I did once. He didn't hear it. <laughs> Must stop. The idea repulsed me, repulses me. Well, yeah, because you were abused. Yeah, that makes sense. And they're open you walked into madness and outrageous with your mind made up. <laughs> Louis' opinion. Claudia's opinion. Who's afraid of vampire wolves? Let's see, um. Fuck these vampires. Really? So, anyway, yes, obviously, then it's going to be Louis and. Not our so when I make a Guido gets it, he'll tell you the same. What if Guido? Guys, never I'm so sorry, but this place seems unbearable. I don't... I've got an impulse. Well, it's a bad one. You're an actor and a really great stage one. It in the round. <laughs> and where shall we put the audience? Behind? What? What? Ooh, what's up with your ass tonight? Is ah. your <clears throat> companion stuck up there chewing on your inhibits like a hamster? God. Projections are our aesthetic. Or a crutch. <laughs> a play is a map for production. <gasps> uh, a play is the script. Guys, look at him right now. <laughs> so work in progress. Oh, oh, I see. I'm exhausted by the theater. <laughs> Can I just ask, when the fuck is Guido arriving on the stage, please? He doesn't. He can't. Hello, it's waiting for Guido. Is that this play? Guido is hope. There can be no hope. They <laughs> just stop. <laughs> How dare they? How dare they? We do horror shows so we can eat people. You're fangless. Oh, no. You summoned me. There's a script on stage. It's yours for the moment. Humans on stage. Ignore him. <laughs> Telescopic lens stolen from the observatory at Madon. All muttering in unison. Gone by the time police arrive by elevator. Crimes all left unsolved. Okay, actually, Louis, I think your idea was bad because they're doing too much. Yeah. We could fail. The woman could turn into one of those drooling revenants you saw back in. Mm. Shush, shush, no. You shouldn't do it. You shouldn't tell me in my mind. I... I cannot keep it closed anymore. I want you to come. I want you to witness. He is um, relatable in that when he can't 
have control it he's just like falling apart my mind i can't keep it closed anymore like from the other from santiago and them are you asking or making me these roles gentlemen okay is that what you want i'm sorry it's okay he wanted to and Louis okay. doesn't actually want to commit. Mm -hmm. Make sure we're not bothered. <sighs> Louis, 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 piece of shit. Ugh. Armand, please. This man does not love you. Not even a little. He doesn't even like you. Please. I've never been to an island. Well, once. On a lake, surrounded by carp. I don't like carp. I don't like Chardonnay. If you get scared, you just look at that light. Listen to my voice. I won't let anything go wrong. Don't worry about the blood. It's the blood that made you. The lamb smiling up at the wolf. What a stupid lamb. What a masochistic lion. <laughs> what a masochistic wolf. <laughs> Just hold on to my voice. This is beautiful. So. No, Claudia, get it together. Mm -hmm. Claudia. Remember, we're not trying to kill her. The anguish of an unexpected death. Mm. The rage and humiliation of a trial by mob. Yeah, I was I've been talking about the mm -hmm. hair. But amongst the pastiche of war and desire, beauty and damage, I saw Claudia. In an impossible afternoon light she could never survive in. Claudia, as Madeline perceived her, resplendent, rendered even more beautiful by her beholder. And I knew then, with all certainty, she would be a better companion to Claudia than I ever had. I told him to get out of town because I can feel her. Madeline. What's happened here? I opened my wrist back up. Oh, yeah. I thought I feel like I was losing Claudia. Claudia took my hand. We said something about being even. I did not care. You were right. Give it time. I want you to find Vampire Lexapro. What's in the suitcase? Some clothes. A few books. Cutting from a magnolia tree I've been growing. I don't know if it will satisfy there might be hostilities or the first bloodless vampire coup. You broke with the coven? They gave me a choice. I chose. That's what you said to me, right? Standing in my blood, stroking my hair. But you were there too. Maybe there's something I missed, or maybe there's something you put Stop in Stop it! Later. Stop it. This is too important a moment in our story for these games. Oh, is there a game being played? <laughs> You are bullying this old man, you two. To be clear, the old man is Armand yes, in this yes, situation. Yes, yes. I am. You have no right to be. You asked me to do it. 
That was our theory. Yeah. I failed Louis once in my life. It wasn't in San Francisco. I would never ask you to do that. The pages I tore out of Claudia's diaries, we did most of those together. Not all of and them. And the ones I did on my own were to protect me from you, Mr. Malloy. Why did I owe you my shame? Why did I owe you my one act of cowardice? Oh boy. I spent the rest of my life trying to make up for it. I'll never make up for it. But he forgave me for it. I didn't forgive you. Drugs did far more damage to your mind than five nights in San Francisco. It was six. My point made. You've a sharper mind as any human that walks. You want an apology, I'm sorry. You thought it was the right thing to do too. You were going to drain me, pal. <laughs> Belated apology number two. I don't know who to trust. <laughs> I asked you to erase it. it. It does make sense. Yeah, it does actually. Three days after we abandoned him. I love you, Daniel. You're my main guy. <laughs> I just want to say actors acting. Correct. <sighs> Flowers growing from the dead, cold things becoming warm. I saw a dead girl in your mind while you were dying. We, oui, Amy, my sister. She to replace me? Hmm. Okay, Louie, pot, kettle. Amy, <laughs> we used to call her the family idiot. She would eat pine cones. So thank you for falling right back into Daddy Lou's shoes. And thank you for never treating me like a child. Take some lessons, Louie. Oh, dear. Are you thinking of coming back to Paris? <laughs> Trash piles and men who smell like cheese and all mess. No. We're going to wonder. Wonder? Go far, far away. This one? Mm hmm See if the straight line to the next X on the map? This is the X, Louie. Still, we didn't make it easy for you. I'm sorry for that. She's so happy. I cannot read your mind. I told Claudia I can feel your love, huh? And we should see him once more. I'm glad you did. I can feel you too. Through him. That's not good. Yes, he loves you. Okay. Okay, well, let's get the hell out of my soul. <laughs> he gets enough affection. I don't need him. His head getting too Are you too sure big. it's him you're feeling? Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It's certainly Lestat that he's feeling. <laughs> Will he get through the door with that big head? <laughs> this is the nicest you've this ever been cute. to him, Louis. Yeah. Why don't you want him to know how much you love him? That's me. Oh, he knows too. Gave him a choice. He chose. Ladies and gentlemen, you stayed with him after he killed Claudia? For 150 years, we here at the Théâtre des Vampires. Louis. Your savage desires. But today. He didn't do it. It was them. They didn't give him a choice. See? If you want to kill your lover or fuck your mother, it'll have to wait. Louis. We're turning our lurid No, Louis, no! <laughs> Stand before you in broad daylight. A man like that who kills your sister. Take a dream. <laughs> but I'm right. You should know better. Are you ready, you filthy animals? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that does it not work. <laughs> the jury may be 
be seated. I'm done with them. And I'm also so, so sad. Poor, poor fucking Madeline. My yeah. God. Read the crimes for which this iniquitous trio stand accused. Ten minutes to your entrance, Monsieur Dianka. Monsieur Dianka? Thank you. Did you remember? Did you know? I, uh, I don't know if this is a detail from one of the later books that came back and... This is... Oh my god, the show. <gasps> this is another one where we were actually very silent. <laughs> For yeah. a large portion of it, but when you've got actors just acting their asses, yeah, off like what like are we that, supposed to say? Right, I don't want, I don't, I don't have comments. Uh, so, I feel like this was maybe the episode that I was like least sure of what was going to happen because, of course, I do remember what happens at the end of the story. But okay, so as the trial in the book interview with the vampire, it has been so long since I read that book, and I don't. I have a much stronger memory of the movie when I didn't really do a trial. Uh, is, this a, is this a detail that was added in later books? I certainly don't remember Lestat showing up. It, I think it's hard to put someone on trial for murder when you're not dead or permanently dead. You're, you're already, I mean, in a court of law, <laughs> technically you're already dead and I right. feel like it would, you know what I mean? No, I, I do. I do. Sorry, I'm still a little stunned. This one <laughs> has me shook again because it was actually horrible to see Claudia so happy and Madeline so happy. I think that part they do where they, where Louis and Claudia both go in to uh, do the change with her mm. and you see all of her life and her memories. Mm. That's such a good moment. Yeah. That's such a really beautiful moment. And I'm like, I'm really sad. Yeah, it can't end well for them in this setup. Where it How does Louis stay with him? No, I'm actually pissed. Yeah, unless it's Lestat that does the ultimate killing, because it's revenge for what they do. Now that is something, because then I can see him staying with Armand mm. out of pure spike because he would just fully blame all of that right. on the start easy to yeah blame him again de Leon. of course he's like smoking into the mirror that was incredibly rude yeah so okay so in in the book where claudia is five six and then in the movie where she's you know 11 year old kirsten dunce um madeline is a doll maker Mm. which I think is, is very interesting because Claudia is um, at the, like there's a whole thing. Are they happens. in love in the book too? I don't think so. Uh, well, the first book specifically is like, says that vampires, like vampires don't have sex. Like it's just like the taking and giving of blood. Like that is the mm. intimate connection for them. I see. So like, everything is a lot more subtext and then mm. later she's like eh, why not yeah um, with in later stories but I think there's something really interesting about oh, oh because earlier there's a whole thing Lestat kept buying Claudia dolls yeah and she at some point she's like I'm 29 years old or yeah. whatever age like I don't want a fucking doll right right but then I think it's fascinating they get rid of Lestat and they go to Paris mm -hmm. and she sees a doll maker and, and asks for a Louis to turn a doll maker. Two episodes to go. You've got a, a, a what in, in my mind, we've got one episode of story yeah. left. Are we gonna are we gonna do a full episode in Dubai? Like next episode, we finish up in Paris and then we I think so. I guess we can then well something's up. gonna happen with Lestat so that's gonna send us yeah in a whole new area we haven't figured out every like we do still have a lot of stories to close yeah and they always the they're so good at storytelling that these episodes always go by so much faster than I expect them to right because I'm just so enthralled yeah. by the choreography of it all <laughs> speaking of the fact that we have um vampire uh waiting for Godot incredible yeah. i'm so done with that wait 
Okay, no, I just remembered. I saw someone say this on Twitter and it just connected with me. They said, oh, it never occurred to me until just now that Samuel Beckett has been part of the Paris Coven all along. That's Sam. 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 That's embarrassing for <laughs> us. No, it's our teachers would kill us. I literally took a whole class on absurdist theater. <laughs> like I studied Beckett and Pinter. Like that's what we did. Mm. It's fine. Another Pinter play. A bit of Mar. I'll drink to that. <laughs> okay. The show sort of has the uh, effect of leaving you overwhelmed. Yes. Like in an hour or so, I'll probably have a lot of better thoughts. Great thoughts. You guys aren't going to be here. And that's okay. So why don't you start the great thoughts in the comments, spoiler free. Yeah. And then we can say what we've been sitting on in response to you in the comments. Beautiful. Excellent plan. Yes. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like our channel, subscribe if you're fancy, and um, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.